human resource management is a developing field. Traditionally, it grew out of more of a personnel administrative stream. But now, human resource managers have, uh, have taken on more of a strategic partnership within organizations. So for them to be effective, it's important that they're able to communicate with all areas of the business. So they really need to know something about, let's say, accounting, something about marketing, something about supply chain, if that's an important area of the business, so that they can provide services to um, effectively to all areas of the organization. And I think it's important to have someone that's in a fairly senior role within the human resource management area so that they can understand what the strategic goals and objectives of the organization are and then they can better align their workforce to meet those goals. I think some of the um, best practices, especially from a human resource management perspective for organizations in dealing with their global workforce uh, can mainly be centered on two broad areas and one is selection uh, for positions in that global workforce and the other is retention of that talent. And in terms of selecting people to work on an international assignment, for example, um, unfortunately many companies today tend to focus on identifying people who can solve a particular problem that the company has. They don't necessarily look for people who are best suited for the position, who are open to new experiences, who can adapt easily to living and working in another culture. So I think companies can become more successful if they broaden their criteria for selecting people to work in these areas. And the other area that companies can, can do better at uh, is retaining their talent. It's very expensive to send someone on an international assignment, for example. Usually it costs them three to four times that person's normal salary to go on an international assignment. But more than 25% of the people that return home after living and working overseas quit within the first two years. So that's a huge loss for organizations. So if they can retain them, if they value the experience, put them in positions that they can use that knowledge, that experience, they're more likely to retain them and capitalize on that experience.